Evening, Kenny. Uh, welcome back, mate, to uh, Chelsea SW6. And uh, looking forward to seeing you, mate, um, this coming Wednesday for the second leg. But uh, where do you see the League Cup these days, mate? Um, because and I'll tell you the reason why I'm saying it, mate. Uh, I look at the League Cup, and I remember the League Cup back in the 70s. Um, all the way back in the 70s, I remember that overhead one from Dennis Stewart when Manchester City played... Um, Newcastle and all the League Cup finals back in the day. And where do you see it in terms of, um, do you see it on a par now with the FA Cup or do you still see the FA Cup as the Supreme Cup competition? Hi, Tom. Thanks for having me on again. I'm enjoying myself on your channel. It's always a pleasure to come on SW6. I mean, answer your question, I still think the FA Cup is still a superior competition to the League Cup. I do understand what you're saying in terms of like, the League Cup is final is more fan friendly in terms of the fact that, you know, they would get more tickets, you know, there isn't any of these dignitaries and no football associations getting tickets. But for me, that one day in May, for me, is probably one of the best days of my life, especially since um, Arsenal um, traditionally do well in that competition. But I do understand where you're coming from in this respect to the fact that a lot of big teams in um, the Premiership are you know, like I said, prioritising League's Cup. You have to look at the fact that Chelsea um, in 2005, that's their first trophy under Jose, was the League Cup. He played for pretty strong sides from the quarterfinals onwards. And I would say the same for Man, Man City under Pellegrini and now with um, Guardiola. So in that respect, I do understand where you come from. Also, the fact that the competition is done and dusted by the, end, by the beginning of March. Again, that is a, a plus side. Um, for the League Cup. In terms of Arsenal as well, it's a competition that we probably haven't taken that too serious, seriously in the past. And Arsenal Meng has always looked at it as um, a competition for the youth players. And, you know, but obviously in context of the Gays game, I think it's a very important competition because of the fact that we're playing Chelsea, it's uh, probably our best chance of getting silverware because of the fact that we're going to be playing some very um, tough teams if we progress further into the Europa League. So for me, I do understand the points, but for me, that one day in May, or say that one afternoon in May, still supersedes it. And that's what we've all been brought up with, Tony. So it's the FA Cup for me. What's your worst situation where you've had to sit through a Chelsea-Arsenal game? I know where you're getting coming to from this, Tony, and I know you're going to expect me to say the 6-0. It was Arsenal awesome as... Um, 1,000th game. It was probably one of the first time in the world that I went to Stamford Bridge and we got absolutely mullered. But I think that's probably a freak result and that was just down to everything going wrong that day. But in terms of like the worst moment, for me, the worst moment had to be the 2007 um, Carling Cup final. And I'll tell you why, is that you go there, you're looking forward to the day. It's a big game, it's against Chelsea. You know Mourinho's going to play stronger side. And you get to Cardiff and you see our side and I just, it just left me flat. It left me really flat. I understand um, Arsene Wenger's reasons for doing it, but it was quite, you know, challenging when you um, see um, on the the players um, in the stand. You see Henri in the stand, you see Gareth in the stand, you see um, some really good players that could have, we could have done with on that day and they're not playing. And that's probably what hurt me. We gave everything, you know, we, we had in that game. Um, Fear Walcott scored in um, the first half to put us 1-0 um, up. But Arsenal being an Arsenal, D.A. Drogba struck again in the f first half to take in the half-time 1-1. And then, you know, a bit of um, silly football from um, the Nielsen and Baptista allowed Robin to put that cross in and Drogba in the 85th minute put a header in. So for me, that's probably the worst moment. Let's turn our attentions then, mate, then to the game coming on Wednesday. Uh, perfectly poised, um, nil-nil in the first leg. I thought, um, I was really disappointed actually, to tell you the truth. When I saw your line-up that night, I thought we'd, we'd, we'd damage you. But in recent times, you've been getting some half-decent results against us. And of course, it's all, as I say, perfectly poised for this second leg at the Emirates. Where do you see the game won and lost, mate? And um, what do you think the outcome will be? Uh, will you be going to Wembley? 
or will we? Um, I think we'll shade it. I think we'll shade it 2-1, but I think the game's going to be awfully tight. Uh, tight in terms of a scoreline, because neither of us can finish, unless it just happens for both of us on the night, in which case it'd be 6-6, six, 7-7. Six, seven, seven. Um, but I, I think it, it will be an open game, um, like the league game, not necessarily the first leg at Stamford Bridge, which was tight, really tight. Um, in terms of the game tomorrow, I do feel that it's um, advantage Chelsea because we failed to get an away goal. And I think that at 0-0, it's a very dangerous result, especially if um, away goals count. And I do think that Chelsea are more than capable of getting an away goal at, at the Emirates. And I think that they're, they're probably um, def more um, better set up defensively um, than I suppose we are. Looking at the way um, I think Chelsea are going to play, I, I've just heard that Cesc Fabregas is going to be uh, is injured and might be considered for selection. And I've heard Morata um, won't be playing as well. So I expect um, Conte to go for a very powerful, powerful side. You know, Babioko alongside Kante. And I think he'll probably play a false number nine. He'll play three. He'll play William, Pedro and Hazard. And Hazard will play in the fourth, false number nine. In that respect, I think that our selection would be that we would have to play a back three, in my opinion, and play our best players in the back three, which includes Monreal, Mustafi and Koscielny. And I'll probably play Martin Niles instead of Kolasinac, because I think in terms of, like, well, in my opinion, I think Martin Niles is probably more mobile than Kolasinac at it. In this um, game, unfortunately, Kolasinac is probably a more superior left back than him. But in terms of like fitness and pace, I do think that Maitland Niles is probably going to be a, a better bet. In terms of the game itself, I think it's going to be like a midfield battle where we're going to be we're going to have to move the ball very quickly because um, Chelsea are going to be very physical and they're going to get in amongst us. Saying that. I do expect Mesut Ozil to play. I do expect him to show us a bit of quality. I expect Jack and um, Shaka to um, move the ball quickly. And I think that we could help Chelsea. But I can't help thinking that this is going to be uh, 120 minutes and probably going to go to penalties. Well, cheers, Ken. Thanks very much, mate. Um, it's always great to have you on Chelsea SW6. You've been coming on... Uh, you know, over the last few years, mate, it's always an absolute pleasure. And I really look forward to seeing you tomorrow, mate. Perhaps we'll see you at the old place where he serves the old jerk chicken. Love it. I might have a little bit of goat uh, tomorrow night. Uh, apparently, it's very nice. Um, so, uh, I'll see you down there, mate. I'll be down there really early. And, uh, of course, uh, I'll see you before the game and indeed afterwards and that, mate. And may the best team win. Cheers, Ken. Cheers, bud. Tom. It's always a pleasure to do collaborations with you during our big games between Arsenal and Chelsea. We're looking forward to seeing you and a few others. Obviously, it's nice to see Francis and the kids. Probably see Elliot there. I might see Hugo. I might see a, a Mo there. So, I'm looking forward to it. Win, lose or draw, I think our friendship should still be intact. And um, up the Arsenal. And, of course, we're going to win. And uh, we'll be going to our second home on the... Uh, End of February. Sorry, Tony. I think you may be playing Man United that day. Oh, well. All well. All ends well. Love and war. See ya. Hi, it's Connie Pates here. Uh, Ex-Chelsea 400 Games. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Chelsea SW6.